Hey everyone, Autothrush here, and in this tutorial, I'm basically going to show you how to take a layer or an object or something like this and attach it to another layer that maybe uses the puppet pin tool. So when you use the puppet pin tool on that object, the other objects you have parented to it will move along with it. So let, let me explain what I mean. Right here, I have a character. It's I made it very quickly, as you can tell. I know it's it looks pretty good, but I made this very quickly, and um, just for the sake of this tutorial. And I already have him basically set up. What I do is I have the body right here. And what you do is you press you, right here. This thing is called the anchor point. And you can go up here to um, pan behind or you can just press Y. And then you can move this. And I usually attach everything to my body. So the legs, for example, the foot right here, the puppet tool is right here. This is where the foot would move. Uh, the two foot right here. That's where this would move the reason I name it one and two is because when you read something It's one two that way on like left arm. Oh my left or his left, you know, so that's what I do You can do whatever you want, but uh, the arms also have it. This arm is attached here This arm is attached here. The head is attached here, and I just put the body one at the bottom so basically after that you grab these whips and then you attach it to the body. So let's say I bring up R for rotation. And then I move that around. It's going to rotate rotate from that point, right? So um here's the where the problem lies. Let's say you get the pup pin tool, you know? It's a very handy tool. It's going to do too. And then you can oh, there there you go. Then you can move around do all sorts of cool stuff that you can just do with like the regular transform tools. But here's where the problem lies. Let's say I go to the body where everything is attached to. I make some puppet pins there. And then I move this. As you can see, none of these move along with it. So what I'm basically gonna do is show you how to do like how to set this up so everything else will move along with it. So I'm just gonna delete all all the effects and everything here. All the puppet tools, I mean, all the puppet pins. So, okay, we're back to normal. So, first, let's set up this arm, the, the two arm. As you can see, it's right, right here is where I put the anchor point. So, right here, I'm gonna go to the body, and then I'll place it right here, right around where I left the anchor point. So, just press right there. Now, uh, go to open up your mesh, go to deform, and there's your puppet pin. I'm going to name this puppet pin uh, two arm. Oh, not ATM. Two arm, just so it's uh, I know which one it belongs to. And open this up down at the bottom again, and that'll open up the position. This is what you need. You need the position here. Now we're going to go back to our two arm. We're going to print and then press P for the position. Then we're going to hold Alt as we click this little watch here. Then right here we can put in expressions and expressions are boring. I don't want to deal with them. Well, you don't have to because right here there is a little pick whip. We just grab this and drag it down. You drag it down to the position here of your two arm and drag it over. And there you go. Now you are done. So let's go. Let's just close this. Let's go back to the body. Um, as you can see, we have our two arms still attached here. Let's attach another one down here. Now let's move this one. And now as you can see, the arm is attached to it. It moves along with it now. Um, but, you know, of course, you'd have to, like, go into the arm and then add the rotation and, you know, animate it along with it. But... We we have it attached now, um, and you basically do that for every body part. I'm just gonna do one more body part because I think that then you'll get the point if you want to see it again. But uh, let's do this one, the one foot right here. It's attached right here, so I'm gonna go to the body, or rather, go to the foot. See where this anchor point is. Go to the body, press it right around there. And uh, let's rename this to one foot, one 
foot. And then open this, open up the position, go back to your what, and press on it, press P to open up the position. Hold Alt as you click the stopwatch. Grab the puppet, pup, the pick whip, I mean. Drag it down. Oh, come on. Drag it down to the position of the one foot. And bam. Now let's go back to the body. And uh, to the puppet pins. And move that around. And move this around. Oh, yeah, as you can see, computer does not like this. Oh gosh. So yeah. And you just do that for part. I'm not going to go through it just because uh, I think you guys get the point. But um, yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them below and I'll try my best to help. But anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.